Mr. Shepstone, thank you for your testimony. Um, two years ago, I, I made that request for the Susquehanna River Basin Commission, and uh, Chairman Adolph at the time reduced their funding $100,000. Um, we've subsequently made that same request for uh, this, this budget uh, cycle as well. Um, what we were told at the last hearing by Mr. Dayhoff was that um, a decision was made that for the SRBC, where actually 37% um, of all funding would be coming from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, right. um, reducing the funding costs for the other states. Um, I, it struck me uh, that we still only have a quarter of the representation, but we're spending 37% for the funding, which you know we fought a revolution for taxation without representation. Um, so I, I have significant concerns about um, us continuing to provide the lion's share of the funding and only having a limited, a, a smaller proportion of representation. Is that happening as well at the DRBC? Yes, it is, and I'm, I'm so glad you brought that out because the, uh, in fact, uh, Pennsylvania has been carrying the lion's share there as well, and, and New York has never met its share, never, in recent memory. Uh, the federal government doesn't meet its share, um, and uh, the other states, New Jersey and Delaware, I believe, have periodically reduced their shares as well. Um, now, sometimes this has been due to you know, budget crises at individual states, and that's understandable during a recession, perhaps, but, but there's no question that Pennsylvania has been repeatedly taken advantage of by, an, uh, by a bureaucratic regional agency that wants to take away its sovereignty. And it's time for the Commonwealth to stand up, and I, I'm, I'm frankly annoyed that we have the same representative through Democrat and Republican administrations always representing us on those two commissions, and I'm not convinced we're getting good representation, and I want to say that for the record. 